Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back to Ironclad RC. I kind of got the 29 on the block, but uh, we're not really going to work on that boat today. Uh, we're going to be opening up a little goodie box from Dr. Jet. I've already peeked inside. But I wanted to show you guys what he sent me because it's actually for the 29 build. Okay, uh, I got an next upload for this build coming up here shortly. Uh, we're going to open this up. And I just wanted to say thank you to all my subscribers, all my viewers. You guys have been great. A big help. Very supportive. Uh, we're coming up on 10,000. And, uh, you know, I really didn't think I'd ever get here, to be honest with you. Um, the boat and hobby so amazing. And I, I love sharing it with you guys. And I, I like uploading videos daily. I really didn't have nothing planned for today. So uh, we're going to peek inside. So uh, stick around. Big B with Ironclad RC. We're going to be running twin motor in this boat with 2860s leopard hobbies and uh twin 90 amp escs and uh, when i introduced the build you know when i unboxed the build the boat i had uh kind of did a, I, you know went over what my plans were and had mentioned that i wanted to use a a, a low profile stinger on the boat because i have these struts from my drag boat and I, that's what i was planning on using were those struts on the build and I, you know i think it would work out pretty good but um you know dr jet had uh emailed me and uh mentioned that he had a couple of 80 millimeter low profile struts laying around and uh he asked if i could use them on the boats and of course you know i said I thought about it and I was like, yeah, I think that would work. So uh, he sent them to me and uh, Doc, I appreciate it, man. Thank you very much. Uh, if you guys have anything you want to send to the channel, just hit me up in the email. I'll, I'll, you know, we'll work out some shipping arrangements. But these are um, a four millimeter board, 80 millimeter long, low profile strut. Okay. Uh, it doesn't have like the big, uh, the you know, the big bulky strut base so i thought it would kind of look streamlined on the boat you know this actually comes this particular stinger actually has a four millimeter shaft in it you would need a uh, a square end four millimeter cable to match which i don't have so i'm of course i'm going to use these four millimeter uh, flex cables but um i think they're going to look really good on the boat you guys like it's gonna it's gonna like save space and give the boat a nice clean look uh, they're not too expensive. They're like kind of affordable. I think you can get, well, the ones I was looking at, which look identical to this, you can get two of them for 35 bucks on eBay. And uh, I think Doc had gotten them for uh, a larger catamaran build that he was work he was gonna do, and he kind of changed his mind, I guess. So um, he donated them to, to the channel, and that's freaking awesome. <laughs> he wrapped them up with a EPP expanded polypropylene, I think, foam. That uh, it's actually some nice stuff. I might have to pick some of that up one day. And he also, this is what's cool. This is what's really, this 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 rudder right here, along with the stingers, is it's really gonna set this boat off. You know, I was gonna use and modify um, the V1 Sonic Wake rudder blade and make my own bracket, but this is the way to go, boy. So uh, we could actually, you know, modify this part right here and extend it you know which makes this r rudder blade very versatile you know now it, it's a knife blade rudder okay it's from 10 shock all right 10 shock makes this you can get them in like 70 80 95 100 110 millimeter length right here okay and um i think it's going to be perfect now uh you know what i'm actually going to set it up for you guys so you can see this is what it looks like with the struts boom huh man that's clean looking yes sir buddy yes sir buddy doc i appreciate you sending these to me because man i probably wouldn't i wouldn't have got them because i you know they come from china it usually takes like a freaking month to get anything from china which um oh, hell it don't matter because i hadn't even started a freaking boat build yet but dude i appreciate it man thank you very much that looks good man i was afraid i was afraid with these stingers i wouldn't be able to get these things as low as i wanted to you know that's why i was kind of uh wanting to go with the strut because i can get that through hole on the strut really low so i can get the props in the water get the boat up out the water for a nice dry ride but um the more i'm looking at it because i've i've set these i've already opened it up and set them up and everything the more i look at it the more i really think this is the way to go y'all 
for real. I mean, TFL, Oxdean has twin motor monos, and they use stingers. But this low-profile base is the ticket with this boat, man. I mean, the boat's wide, but uh, I was afraid I wasn't going to have enough room with the trim tabs, and I wasn't going to get the, the, the stingers low enough. But, um, man, I think I think it looks great, man. And uh, you guys see right here, so our propeller is going to come off like that, especially if we run like a, 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 a Reiki-style prop. It's going to run into that blade so like i said we're going to either cut these new new like extend it that way or put like a block there extended that way but uh it really gives it a nice clean look you know um now i've actually run these stingers this is a 110 millimeter long stinger which is, this is for a 316 shaft those are for four millimeter shaft i had this on my my delta force 35 you know and um i was basically testing the length the barrel length 110 uh, versus like 80 70 80 on a normal stinger and um, it actually worked real good but the only issue with running this low profile strut on a single motor boat with power is it will actually like with a, a fairly decent sized prop it you see how it's bent right here it would bend this bracket right here and torque the whole stinger over to over to your left there you know it would actually torque the whole stinger over bend it mid run you bend i'd bend it back straight and i go get on it again and it would bend it all the way over <laughs> so i took it off put a tfl on these stingers are, are designed for catamarans these are designed for catamarans with overhang you know where the the sponsons you know set back on the transom of the boat so it actually sits under the boat right there in tight space situations designed for twin motor use okay so that's something to keep in mind you know i really don't recommend this stinger for a single especially with big power you know what i mean so um that's just something to keep in mind if you're you know they're actually cheap this one's cheap those aren't they're not too bad i mean um and uh man you know the more i look at it the, the more i'm really falling in love with the stingers on this boat um so let's take the rudder off okay the rudder don't have a water pickup and um we're gonna have to come up with a water pickup i was either contemplating using these two oxteen water pickups one here and one over here or putting a brass tube in the boat you know like it, it would be back here i'm just doing this for reference close to the keel you know brass tube drill hole in the bottom of the boat epoxy that brass tube in and uh we'll have water cooling one on each side maybe kind of like the impulse okay and i think the i think the miss geico also has that style water pickup i'm not sure so um let's actually set this boat on the on the deck here okay now i'm gonna be running my fingers about oh i guess 40 eight to 50 millimeters apart okay that's going to give me the room to run a 45 millimeter prop and have about four to five millimeter gap in between the propellers okay so with the longer stinger here i think it's going to work out better so we could put that negative angle on and uh basically have our prop in the path of the water coming off the bottom of the boat you feel me whereas these right here i could actually get these lower okay on the back of the boat but they they wouldn't have the length that these stingers have you, you feel me so this right here is going to want to pick the boat up okay so we'll actually use some cg up here and uh keep the boat down all right so um maybe this will help you guys out you know if you guys are thinking about building a twin motor this you know kind of this little spill kind of give you something to think about strut versus stinger length versus short versus long uh rudder length you know because so i'm fairly certain we want our rudder blade past the props you know uh so that it actually hit the thrust from the props and, and give us a nice turn and the nice thing about the twin motor like i said you, you're not going to have the torque roll like you would with a single motor and with an offset rudder okay offset rudder to your left when you when you're in a left when you're in a left turn that left turn picks the the, the rudder up out the water and you learn you lose your left turn okay with a center mounted rudder left turn right turn it don't matter the the rudder is going to be planted the same depth always okay this is why the the sonic wake v2 
doesn't turn good okay it's either because the the short rudder is coming up out of the water in a left turn or the rudder is offset to the right too much and it comes out of the water in a turn you feel me so um all right, well, I'm, I'm going to let you guys go. You, you guys can tell I'm real excited. Um, we're about to start the carbon fiber inlay. I got it in the house. I got my paper here. We're about to make the template. That'll be coming up soon. I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for all the support, all the views. 10,000, here we come. Boat gang for life, baby. We'll see you guys next time. Big B, we're at RC.